fans ng Ginebra. Bawat t-shirt may isang letter for Ginebra. We'll get that to you in just a short while. As we take a look, uh, Mark, oh, ayun ay higante ng mga higantes. Oo, oh, yung dalawang higante. Pinasok ni Coach uh, Robert Jaworski in his starting five. A bad addition to the starting lineup that he never said. Miguel is JP Gayos, who has been playing superbly off the bench. Well, alam na natin ito si Vince Hison, the last two games has been struggling. Ito naman ang starting lineup ng Sunkist. Well, hindi na isali si Nelson Asaitono sa starting lineup ng Sunkist. Uh, he will be coming off the bench as has been his traditional low role dito sa All-Filipino Conference. Pero, partner, sa tingin ko, dito combination ng Sunkist, as we see the our officials uh, on our screens, this is a defense-oriented combination that Sunkist has. At nakita natin si Eric Reyes, nandiyan si Zaldireo Lubit is also defense-oriented, pati din si Alvin Teng. So we will take a close look at how the war develops inside as we get underway with your main game tonight. Team Abra San Miguel against Sanchez. First possession belonging to Sonny Jaworski's crew. Gariosa, Asama, and Nick. Go. Asama and EJ, but on ball, I'm not going to be A nice front defense by Alvin Ting. Alas to get in here, Alvin Ting. If he just backs, backs uh, EJ Fyler, he will not have no, no control of defending him. They also with a toss inside to Luxin and Nebra San Miguel is on the board. Transition basket by Nebra San Miguel. Hindi natin anticipation. But again, if you control the boards on one end, Seb, you can dictate. You can pitch the outlet and find the open man on the other side. Referee Garferio, ayon sa kanya, ang bola ay mapupunta sa Ginebra. Now, let's talk about specifics defensively also for Ginebra. Paano ba ang bantayan kay Berhel Minesis dito sa larong ito pinito? Hindi po masyado na-establish ang depensa ng, uh, ng Ginebra San Miguel on the other end. But uh, we know that this is not a speed combination that uh, Sankis has on the floor. This is a slow team that it has. Uh, the only quick player on the floor for Sankis is Boivitz Victoria. Tsaka din siguro si Berhel Menezes. But uh, ang uh, domination is by the big men. Teng, okay, Real okay. Lutic, tsaka si Reyes, not known for their quickness. So yun ang nagiging tema dito sa umpisa? Ano na halata mga katabi ko? May kainitan dito ngayong gabi, ano ha? Usuli rito sa Araneta Coliseum, eh, 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 malamig dito. Eh, just proving again, ang dami natin kasama ngayong gabi. <laughs> o palagay ko, estimate dito, eh, mga 30 tansi, ang mga nandito. Ah, ganun, ano ha? Kasi yung dito sa Araneta. Kaya ng Araneta yung mga ganong numero. Samantala, Mineses, Milobo, bang! Kanina, partner, tinanong mo kung... Uh, Paano yung uh, depensa ng Hineva San Miguel del Verhel? It looks like J.V. Gayoso, who's also known to be a harassing type of defender, is taking on uh, Verhel Menezes. Pero walang double team, ha? So far, wala pa. Sa mga tala, ang bola ay lumabas. At ito yung mananapili sa Hineva San Miguel. Isubukan na nilang uh, makai-score. Puta para shot with 13 left on the 24-second shot clock. Luxin, momentarily free. Reyes trying to bump into Luxin, and the foul will go against Reyes. Malaking gamble na ginawa ni Coach Derek Pumarin to try to match the control or size advantage of Hinebra San Miguel. Actually, you cannot match the size of Hinebra San Miguel, but he's trying to use body to neutralize the size advantage of Hinebra San Miguel. Yes, well, off the inbound, they also with a short pass to Aquino, and Aquino unable to control it. Two all lang ating score inside 10 minutes in this first quarter. Victoria. Alam na bigyan ng bola. Naibigay niya yung kay Vergel Menezes. Ang shot clock ay bumaba sa once. Nagumpisang humiling si Vergel. Walang mapasahan. Medyo malalaki yung bucket doon. Again, the interior defense. May fast break attack on the other end. Magkakaroon pa ng foul. Foul si Eric Reyes, walking. Well, panuhirin natin itong foul ng Sankist. Sir, sa tingin ko, very predictable ang offense ng Sankist at this stage because if you take a look at their lineup, the only real dependable shooter is Verhel Benesis. So you can expect the offense 
to revolve around Vergel Menezes. In the meantime, we take a look at Gayoso. Ginebra working with an 18-second shot clock. Gayoso hands over to Aquino. Yes! Pinan Dani Marlo from the flank. Ito yung sinasabi mo kanina, partner. Ang mga fans ng Ginebra, isa-isa, suot-suot nila yung bawat letter ng Ginebra na. At the exclamation point, meron. Walks in, whirls around, and I think he was on the baseline. And that is a call made by referee Maglaya, De Leon, and Maglaya together with Gaterio working this main game here tonight, which now stands at 4-2. Among Kong Jins, ang dalawa, 8.50, ang nalalabing oras dito po sa ating unang yugto. Narin po si Victoria sa labas, good screen. Ooh, 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 illegal picks. Ayan, uh, pinabanggit natin. That's the third personal of Eric Reyes. And Nelson Azaitona is now being capped by Coach Derek Marin. Hindi pa po siya nakakapasok. Ready to not well. We just caught a glimpse of uh, that foul. Well, kanina sinabi natin, uh, Sev, that uh, malaking experimento ito ni Coach Derek Marin. He's trying to play the deliberate kind of game that he never likes to play. Dapat siguro gamitin niya ng konti quickness to be able to offset the height advantage of Ginebra. But let's see. I'm sure that Kasi Coach Derek Kumaran has a game plan in mind. Rael Menezes in charge of the level with 12 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Then trying to provide a shield. Menezes slowing down. Shot clock down to five. Inside toss. Eric Reyes gets an undergo stab. And the score nothing for all. 4 minutes going by us here, only 8 points on the board, our team, Tigapat. Arencio Libre. Aquino, finger roll, Ayaw, pinaglalabanan. Sabi ni Boyman's Victoria, sasabay ako kahit ano mangyari. Alam mo, the beautiful thing about playing with uh, all teammates is that from outside shooter ka, you can take chances in attempting from the outside knowing that you'll have a tall teammate who can get your possible offensive rebound. I think in this case, Alvin Zhang is going to have a loose ball foul against Nolly Luxin. At mabibigyan yata ng technical si Alvin Zhang. Referees want to assert their personality quickly on the game. Yes, may technical foul. This is a foul on Alvin Zhang. Alvin is usually not known for his temper. Alvin Teng complaining that he didn't really push up, but uh, ito si Jarencio, medyo umarte lang. And the technical foul is not going to be announced. There it is. So, ang nangyari ko sa sitwasyon na yun, eh, medyo umangal ko si Alvin Teng dun sa pagkakataon sa kanya ni Luz Bolfat. Ang nangyari doon, nagkikirian sila ni Nolly Luxin for the rebound in that situation. Na out position si Alvin Teng at uh, hindi na kill ni Alvin. Sabi ko, anong ginawa ko? Ay, foul siya. So, na-technical pa siya. Ang mga ginagawa ng isa, ayaw pumasok ang layup. Sabi ni Rayan Lubit, tara na! Perhel Menezes. Ayaw, Luxin, sinungkit ang rebound, nagmamadali ngayon ng tank. Arangkada ang Ginebra! Bang! In that particular play, yung dalawang higante ng Ginebra San Miguel loitered in the backcourt. Arencio has three points, anchored on a field goal and a free throw. Seven minutes to go here on the first. Nelson Asaitono fishes for a foul and succeeds with a catch. First on Luxin. Sonny Jaworski busy uh, with the hand signals and words of encouragement from the sideline. Man, never fans na na creative na. May mga lobo pa sila yung, oh, oh, hindi yung bilog ha, yung stretch. Narito si Bonel Balingit. Na bago sideburns na po. Worth it. Journey outside of Sunkist. 
at hindi natuloy ang kanyang uh, pagpunta sa ibang katunan. There's some pressure now in the half court here at uh, matawagan ng foul today. Most of the teams that have played in that round are really trying this trap against the Jins. Shell, Pure Moods. They tried it, even Alaska. Well, uh, the logic behind the uh, yung, yung trap or kaya yung backward pressure for Hinebas and Miguel is uh, to chop off time from their uh, shot clock because it gives uh, the big men less time to operate once they get the ball. Locks in, rejected from behind. The follow won't work and it'll go the other way. 7-6, Hinebra by one. Six minutes, 33 remaining. We're coming to you live wherever you may be from the big dome in Quezon City. You can see there's a little over-eagerness on the part of the Hinebra players. Uh, Ilan tapit na yun sa ilalim na hindi nila naipasok. Oh, no? I think they've already missed three point flat uh, shots. Illegal defense. Warning. Ginebras. Big eagle factor na pinita yun. Baka nga eh. Over eager. 7-6 ang ating bilang. Victoria. Mabilis na yung pinasa kay Meneses. Low. Oh, punta kay Real Lubit. Ang hirap na angulo. Nakuha ngayon ang Ginebra San Miguel. Sabi ng Pito Karencio, ayusin natin. Huwag tayong magmadali. Ito. Pinasok sa loob kay Fahl. Kaya Kino! Higante na mga higante, sabi ng partner ko. Nice three-man passing play on the strong side. Nakita natin, double team ang Karencio. Nakawala ito si... File after giving the pick, and then he looked for the open man, the cutter, si Milo Hino. Unselfish play. Ito ang Hinebra San Miguel leads the league in assists. Tonight, we had San Miguel Beer stopping uh, Pepsi Mega, but not without the scare from the Megas. As we watch this turnaround shot, trickle in. The winning score, by the way, earlier was 95 to 86. That's for Marina and Paul Agustin emerging as Gilby's choice players of the game. As Pido Arancho. My Nitsi Pido in the first quarter. Partner, six points. Well, for some kids, it uh, has been Bernal Meneses with four points leading the way. Well, it's Victoria trying to whirl around. Arancho unsuccessful. Narito ngayon ang Ginebra. Nagmamadali. Three on two. Arancho says one more time, but won't work this time around. Sabi ni Ryan Lubit, no way. Well, nagpadali si Pido Arancho, although he never said Miguel had the numbers in that play. Taklo sila against only two for Santos. Arancho took the outside shot. Parang tira sa beach yun, ano? Parang nakahiga ka doon. Relax na relax. May shit ko nga. 12 to 10 ang ating bilang. Ginebra San Miguel, may abanteng dos. 4-27 ang natitirang oras. Narito si Arencio, attack the key. Bayoso, inside si Marlo, turn around. Ayaw, rebound, pinagkakaguluhan. Nagtututuro ang lakat. And referee Garfelio authoritatively says, I saw it, it was staying with the Jins. Again, another opportunity for Hinebra San Miguel. Fresh 24. Gayoso. <laughs> Ria Lubit with his third rebound of the game. Boybitz. Berhel. Rejection City. JB. Ayo. Maganda depensa ng Sanchez sa loob, ha? Yes, saka si JV Gayoso, medyo minamala sa... Oh! JV Gayoso, yes! hindi gumasok sa point lang. Range, yun! Open court basketball, eto ang gustong-gusto ng Sanchez. Eto ginawa ni Barela, no? inside-out dribble. Iniwanan yung depensa. Locks in. Ay, Pido. Palik kay Noli. Kumira ang tanke. Ayaw. Loose ball foul sa ilalim. May nakahilata rin. Sino kaya? Ito yung nakahigas. Mahalaga. Ito yung inside-out dribble. Woo! Oh, hindi natin dribble. Bakit ang inside-out move lang, oh. Na-throw off yung defense. Oh, importante yun because uh, ito si EJ File. Actually, he was far away from the basket. Kanya, Verhelm Menezes was still able to get past EJ File in that flying move. 
Time down to 324. Narito si Nelson ay sa tono na ipit. Naibigay ang bola kay Tang. Ayaw pumasok. Tang hard at work. And a jump ball is declared. Well, merong uh, kalili kay EJ Fine. Ito, banggaan ito si Teng at saka si Will Meron. Si Will Meron, good soldier ito. Will offer his body and everything else. Oh, oh. Kinito may tatanong ako sa'yo. Napapagsin ng marami. May kababaan ng mga scores natin uh, dito sa All Filipino. Gaya nung isang araw, Alaska, only a 70-point winning score. Uh, uh, Register the lowest uh, all-time winning score. Ano kaya ang reason dito? Well, uh, first of all, we have to understand that uh, itong liga is composed of eight teams and eight teams only. Kanya, uh, nagkakaroon na ng konting familiarity with the moves of the individual players. Pati din yung mga team patterns, no? Kanya, uh, napag-aaralan na yan. And as a result, the defense has been able to anticipate kung ano mga galaw ng kapensa. The defense has certainly improved and it could be because more and more teams are becoming familiar with uh, each other's moves. Saka nabibigyan ng due emphasis na ang pagbibigyansa. Ano, Kamantala narito si Aquino with a turnaround that ties up the ball game. Mardo Aquino, sa mga sandaling ito, ang total ng kanyang kontribusyon ay sa East. Ayaw pumasok Wilmer Ong. At foul si Victoria, sumabi siya kay Horencia. Also, as I told, no? Embarrassed by Marlo Aquino. Intimidated siya ng... By Sam Desham and the Faders. Alam na alam pag... Alam na alam pag nandito si Kinito Henson. Alam na alam ni Vincent Price kung anong patutok ko. Pero iba talaga yung beat ng 60s. Ah, collector tayo ng 60s music ago. Kaya nga pa na yung kantsaw ko sa iri. Ano yung kantsaw ingit yan? Samantala, Rick Rick Marata nandito na po sa ballgame. Sa kanyang collection mo, records yun, ano, partner? Boxin with a turnaround. Does not work. Last touch, almost, but not quite. Minessas controls it with a help from a, help from a Saitona. So far, he never with only one change in a two lineup. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. A stand gets blocked. Rayoso, bumubulusok, offensive foul. Ayoso, playing out of control in this first quarter. Gigil factor, out of control factor. Dapat siguro umupunan muna ito si Hedy Ayoso. And this is what Marlo Aquino has added to the Ginebra game. Meanwhile, on the other hand, planted ang paan yung record mo na tapos sa eksena niya. Pero siguro, you can also come and blame ito si Hedy Ayoso. Nakita niya that Marata, who probably stands about 3 or 4 inches shorter, was the last line of defense. May tangke at saka isang oh, goal oh. na nag uh, nagbabakbakan sa loob. At walang tawag. Walang tawag. Meneses. Grabe ang battle for possession of the rebounds. Aquino. We'll try this. You know, sinasabi natin, agility of a big man. Nice turnaround move. Marlo Aquino, the prized rookie catch. Marlo Aquino. Ginebra's high rise. Average of 19 points. He has eight in this first quarter. This pass is deflected. 55 seconds to go. JV Gayoso will sit down. Pasok si Vince Hison. Nice ko lang batiin uli mga kaibigan natin sa Great Cagayan de Oro City. Pure Foods and Santa Lucia will be there on Saturday. In fact, they're already there. Maaga silang umalis today at the 4 o'clock flight para tumungo in preparation for the game tomorrow, uh, Kinito. Samantala, this one is down to 40 seconds. Tight ball game at 16. The tank with a good move. Too strong. Clock at 13. Turn around. It's a pass. Tank twirls. Ayo. Shot clock is off. Nine on the shot clock. Nine on the game clock. Tang. Still nothing. Di ata alam ni Pido Herencio nun. Alaman na. 
PBA out of town game. Here's Woods will meet Santa Lucia from Saturday, March 23, 5 30 p.m. at the Mindanao Polytechnic State College Gym, Cagayan de Auto City. A pleasant evening to all our friends there in Cagayan de Auto City. He's watching his team. Uh, <laughs> Mal David, there from Asur Nako. Chakasi Bonel Balingit replacing Zaldi Realubit for Santis. So, dikit talaga yung first quarter, ano? At 16 all. Grabe kang bakbakan ni Luxin at sa kanin Asay Tono. And Balingit, by the way, is in the game. Let's review the rosters. Marata, Balingit, Asay Tono, Tseng Meneses. Mal David! Yes! Nakahanap na naman ang puwang ito si Mal David. On that curl move, no anticipation in the part of Sankis' defense. Parang kiti-kiti ito si Val David. Nakakahanap ng butas. <laughs> Ayan, nagkakaroon na ng spread offense. Sankis is now spreading the floor. Well, Meneses hardly with a good release of that shot. Asaitono's runner! Asaitono! Asaitono has eight points in this first half of play. The tie at 18. Samantala, ni Lobo ang bolo kay Aquino. Aquino trying to elude Balingit. And we have a foul. Ito, ito yung sinasabi mong kiti-kiti. Parang pusa ito sa bubong. Nagahanap ng maluluntagan eh. Hala, hiki! Wide open lane, although there was some reaction on the part of the big men of Sankis, but too late. Napakabilis ito rin baldabit. Parang kidlat. It's his arm. Again, the penetration. Ang ginagawa ng Hinebra San Miguel, nilalaro nila si Marlo Aquino away from the low post. Kanya dinadala niya si Bonel Balingit. Nagkakaroon ngayon ng puwang for the small men to penetrate because wala si Balingit sa ilalim ng goal. And that has happened on the last two offensive tries of Ginebra. Meanwhile, Asaitono, oh boy, he's working hard. Kaya tayo inspirado ito si Tabul. And the ball is knocked away. And the pitch by Asaitono, touched last by Bal David. By the way, we'd like to say a pleasant evening to all our friends in Virac, Catanduanes, watching over SBC Channel 9 and a ticket of our home network, Channel 13. With the street, by the way, is in the ballgame already. 9.57 for an alalabing oras. Dito sa ating second quarter. Asaitono, ginugulo ni Ong. Ong trying to keep in step. Asaitono, not this time around. Tang! Well, baling it. Looking for the ball. Aquino takes it away. Para ito si David. Mubuluso! Alam mo, merong quick first step ito si Val David. Hindi mo ma-anticipate yun because of his lightning quickness. Manurin po natin muli. Ayun, naiwanan na naman si Rick Marata. And David is now at the strike. His last, alam mo, itong Val David as a result of his performance in the last game, napakataas na ang confidence level niya. Best friend. Oo. Si Gulayat. Kasi yung isa tapit. David and Gulayat. Ito, I say this in a positive way. Parang may kospro sa likod ito palagi. Parang lagi na papaso itong si Baldo Didi. And that is what he never needs. Parang yung bulusok ng game. Yes. Kailangan eh, yung tinatawag natin na spark plug. The streaker launches a triple which bounces away. Narito si Luxin. Rebound situation controlled by the Ginebras. At na yung pang isang kulaw ng Santis so far in this game. The point blank rage, another layup miss by Ginebras and Miguel. Yung sinasabi natin kulang sa Santis, yung outside shooting. They have been trying to enter the lane but they have not been too successful. He's gone. Sankis will utilize a timeout. Kay Lagan, some Hinebra na fans. Nandito po sa Neta Coliseum. Nagkakagulo dito. Punong-punong po tayo. Saldivia Lubit rejected by Luxen. Narito ngayon si Val David. Bulusok ang pasa. Okay to Luxen. Oh, nagkakaroon yata ng konting gulo. Noli Luxen at saka si Bonel Baligit. Nagkaroon ng konting gulo. 
At sabi ni Noli Baligit, eh, nasa ikot daw siya sa baba. Mukhang hinamo ni Noli Loxy dito si Bonel Baligit. We shall take a second look. At karoon ng double technical foul. Panuri po natin. Well, after the shot, yun, kinapo ng bola ni Bonel Balingit. Nakatitigan yung dalawa. Here's that drive by Luxin, which goes. Makes it 26 to 20. Luxin, ayun, nasundan ang camera mo natin. Kamuntik na! Yan ang free throws yung double magkabila. No? Kung double technical, they cancel out. But we'll try to get a clarification from the referees. Usually kasi kung nagkakaroon ng double technical, hindi ako nagkakamali. No? One negates the other. Yes. Nagkakaroon ng neutral, neutralizing effect. Anyway, nakalaman pa yung never San Miguel in that situation. Nakapasok sila. 27-20 tally. 13 to 4, blast by the Ginebras. He's on, applies the brakes, outside to Val David. Val scoots inside, gets it to Luxin! And what a move. Again, Val David making that play possible. David has taken control of this game. Last time we were tied was a 29 to nothing major explosion. Inside eight minutes, not into Sia Saitono. Inside Kemarata, nalusot na niya yung malalaki. Matik sa kainin ng buhay ron, ano, kung ibang uh, angulo na napadpad si Marata. Alam mo, nangyari doon sa Talbot, David tried to play a double team in the perimeter. Nakawala, tuloy ito si Rigzik Marata sa kanya. He's on, could have traveled there. Triple offline. Here comes this Trito. Rudy shifting directions. Can't go anywhere. Last touch on Aquino, but no, not according to referee Camperio. Marata will now be changed by Boyd's Victoria. Medyo napako ang Sanchez, ano ha? Bong. David. Giving instructions. This looks in. Grinding hard. He is on fire. Almost shifting in midair from one hand to the other. Nicaragua San Miguel now opening a nine-point lead. Intimidation blues, mga kaibigan. Junsak is three out of ten, only 30% from the inside. Ayon, another turnover. Foul to Boyd's Victoria. Kala ko eh, intimidation plus bagong klaseng maong yun. <laughs> Hindi kasi makapasok itong, itong Sankis dahilan sa magandang interior defense ng Hinebra San Miguel. Okay, Hinebra has the tempo. Hindi ba kagulat-gulat? Parang sila pa yung nagsaset ng tempo na mabilis. Well, nakita natin, that is what happens when you control the rebounds. And in the first quarter, ang rebounding story, napakalaki. 16 rebounds yung... Uh, Ginebra San Miguel and 9 lang yung Sankis. That was the story in the first quarter. Not only that, ito si Val David has uh, put pace in the tempo of play of Ginebra San Miguel. And the man who has been doing the damage offensively, ayan po yung bagong kasal, si Noli Loxin. And second straight timeout taken by Derek Pumarin. Why not? The tank is on a rampage! the score, but that is how he never has outscored Sankis in this second quarter. We were tied at 16 at the end of the first 12 minutes, but he never San Miguel on a hot tear. Noli Loxin is one of the main architects. Eight of his ten points exploding here in the second quarter. Which is down now to 6 and 20. Go ahead, please. Sir, we were talking about this. It was Val David. We were talking about that he has established his voice in this game, but we were talking about the last... 
two plays. One, a defensive lapse on his part. Nakawala si Rick Rick Marata after he gambled on the double team with si Baldo did. Showed that he still has some maturing to do. Tapos ng last offensive play naman ng Inebel San Miguel, he took an ill-advised three-point shot. Okay, may pressure defense na ngayon ang uh, Sankist. And this is going to be a test of the composure of Paul David. Yes, well, they're on at the receiving end. Shot clock down to 11. EJ File is back in the game. Turnaround shot goes. At saka si EJ File, medyo tinamaan pa yata sa ilong. Ang hirap gawin kasi yun. May nang iwag pa yun. Eh, kasi napakalaki ni AJ Fine. Kanya, yung depensa kasi, once you outstretch your arm, matatamaan mo yung ilog yan. And the ball. Ano mo, waxing natin ito si Nelson Asaito, no? He's got three out of four dito sa period natin. 12 points by Asaito no, in total. File picks it outside. Bow the lid straight and but not true. That's two straight three-point shots of Bow the lid. Not too much arch in that attempt from uh, three-point land. Time now to five minutes and 22. Victoria, Binigay Kiber Helmineses. Tabasque Victoria. Two-man game. Nagahanap ng puwang. Real Lubin does not want to shoot. As I turn, it says, let me try. It bounces away. Here come the Hinebras. He's on the set for a three. Good! Alamoy does it Vince Heeson needed that. He was three out of ten the last game. He's been five out of twenty from the field the last two games. And Ginebra now with its biggest lead of twelve. Now the win for the foul. This first, let's give you an update on the number of team fouls. Sankis Botak, no. Ginebra San Miguel, dalawa. Time remaining, 4 minutes and 44. Ginebra, their name was in all over this quarter. Nothing there. Aquino snares the rebound, uncontested. Lead pass to all. Yes! What a pass by yes. Gison. Napakaganda ng pasa ni Vince Gison. Bounce pass in heavy traffic. But more important, yung taktak ni Will Merong. Tatlong iskinita yung dinaanan nun. <laughs> Wala siyang pakialam kung at even Meneses lets it fly. Glass shot, nothing. He never in control of the game. And no in question. control of the rebounds. Yes. Very, very clear. Mga kaibigan, scoring duel has erupted here between Loxin at saka si Nelson Asaitono. Asaitono going 5 out of 9. Si Loxin, 5 out of 9 din. Victoria, Bergel. Handoff, Ria Lube blocks. It's in the hands of Marlo Aquino. Marlo Three on wants, one. Three on, on one. one. Will he give it up? Yes, finally. He saw it. Pero si Marlo, matagal bago niya ginip up yung bola ron, ha? Well, that's not the way you run a fast break, even if you were going three on one. You don't, number one, you don't have your big man bring down the ball. Number two, you bring down the ball in the middle, not in the flank. Lucky break. Ineswerte itong Hinebra San Miguel. Again, the intimidation, but napakagandang tira ni Roy with Victoria. Bitin na bitin, ano? Oh, bitin na bitin. Akala ko, he would change his mind about shooting, but he stuck to it. 3.14 to go. Ano ito? Lakas loob. Yes, he never sent me there. 10 out of 11 from the inside in this quarter. Ayan, at siguro pwede natin sabihin, lakas ng loob o lakas loob ng Hinebra San Miguel. Ang loob nila, ang lakas nila ay nasa loob. And the rampage of the Jins continues. Aldavid. Now, he never feels they can do anything at this point. Parang at will ang ginagawa nila. And we'll go all the way with this play. The pass by Heeson to Ong. Sets up Coliseum sa Cubao, Quezon City. Magandang gabi po. Seb Sarventa kasama po ni Kinito Renson. Samantala, Meneses, turn around. Ayaw pumasok, rebound. Pinaglalabanan. Si Bonel Balingit hindi makakuha ng rebound. Ano ha? Pero palagay ko ito si Bonel Balingit is really not playing 100%. Alam natin, meron siyang uh, anterior cruciate ligament tear in his knee, in his okay. right knee. Uh, and that is hampering his mobility and his positioning. 
Carl David. Wow, what an angle to work with! Anong kinain ito? Kalina ang merienda? Diba mo yan dyan, hindi na makakalaro si Robert Jones. Nadyan na kasi si Val David. Last break point, Ginebra with the awesome advantage. And it will go the other way as Tang touched it last because he could not really contain it. Alam mo, nagkakaroon ng panic factor itong Sam Kiss, no? Kasi if you notice, if the crowd is against you, tapos nakikita mo that yung kalabang mo is hitting the shots from the outside and the inside. Palagay ko, there's some frustration that creeps in. We're down Kinito to a minute and 41 seconds. It's 46 to 28. An 18-pointer established almost so quickly by Hinebra, rather. Hirap din kalabang ito Hinebra San Miguel because the crowd is always on Hinebra side. Muscle move! Nothing this time. Dorendis, by the way, seeing action for the first time. Ang hindi natin nakikita yung pace ng Sankis. And I would have expected Coach Derek Romano to use a small but speedy combination on the floor to offset the size advantage of Hinebra. Ang mangyayari, size for size, eh talagang hindi mo mamamatch ang Hinebra San Miguel. In the meantime, Manuel Meneses will escape two quick hits by Sankis. Paul David was trying to send the ball to E.J. Pyle. He bobbled it. 46-32. He slides down to 14. But just do not see the quickness of uh, Sankis. Quickness in action. Now, actually, they've got three quick men on, playing on the floor at E.J. Pyle called for traveling. Sankis is now playing Durandes Meneses together along with Boydic Victoria. So you might say that this is a speed combination of Coach Derek Primaria. And so kahit pa paano, nagka-taper off din yung bulusok ng Gunebra San Miguel. By the way, from halftime, we'll have PBA Mailbox. The feature will be on Rodney Santos. Uh, the Pure Food Standard Juicy Hot Dogs. That didn't work. Maki De Hoya, by the way, I failed to mention, is in the game. 26 seconds remaining in this first half. David, his pocket is picked. Clearly, and Durandis has it. By the way, here's Baldavid regaining it. Baldavid sends it to Hison. Three for a three. Not this time around. Nine seconds. Victoria won't work. On Baldavid. Marches. And that's all she wrote for our first 24 minutes of action. Siguro ganon. Tsaka yung control tempo ng Hinebra San Miguel. Well, sa tingin natin, dictating ang Hinebra San Miguel at this stage. But uh, let's not sell Sankey short. Palagay ko, ito si Coach uh, Derek Kumar and will try a few tricks here in the second half. And I anticipate he will use quickness. Let's just explain one point. Kanina yung sabi natin yung dalawang fouls, uh, technical fouls, should have negated each other. Now, I uh, asked uh, Romy Guevara, the head of the officials, that was a case wherein two successive technical fouls were called. Kung sinabing double technical foul, doon mangyayari mag-indicate yung isa at isa. Oh, dapat so, sabay, ano? So, sabay. Oh, oh. So, nung okasyon na yun kanina, Luxin had one, Palingit had one. Oh, so, oh, so, so, each side was given a technical free throw yes, in that particular oh, instance. Oh, Dalawang oh, instances oh, actually ang nangyari doon. So, liliwan, kiniklear lang po natin yung sitwasyon na yun. Samantala, Mineses is on the free throw line. After picking up that foul from Marlo Aquino, his first. Jaworski is hard at work along the sideline. Ano kaya pinag-usapan nila nung sa locker room nila Derek Pumarin? Well, palagay ko, sabi ni Coach Derek Pumarin, dito sa second half, they should not be intimidated by the big men. Dapat they should continue to try to challenge the big men. And I think they want to be able to create some turnovers dito sa second half by putting more pressure on the ball carrier of Ginebra. Locks in. That familiar move of his, drawing a foul. Eric Reyes, who had the first, a first quarter where he committed three quick fouls, commits another one. He has four. Loxin going great guns. One settled uh, in Naito Sinoli Loxin after his marriage. Huh? Tony Kid Villarus of Ginebra San Miguel. Uh, 
team manager of Sunkist. At ang ating uh, magiting na kaibigan si Bert Navarro um, of Hinebra San Miguel, who is the chief operating officer of La Tugdena, must be smiling from ear to ear at the success of his team. Okay. Congratulations. Of course, let's shift the attention to Elmer Young. After all that has happened, yung Asaitono issue, nothing would please me more than a victory here tonight to sort of silence uh, some of the allegations, mga usap-usapan, ika nga, tungkol sa feeling ni Nelson Asaitono sa kanyang kukunan. Well, actually, cause for congratulations then for Elmer Young because uh, nabuo niya yung kanyang team. Uh, actually, no? For a while, uh, maraming nga nagsasabi na itong Sankey's team was on the verge of breaking up. But... Uh, well, he's not a executive, repeat, of, executive the of the year for nothing. It was the Elmer Yanga was able to calm his players down. At uh, sabi niya, matagal pa itong labanan sa All-Filipino Conference. Ang kailangan ay eh, magkaisa. In the meantime, Minebra San Miguel is called for a technical foul. Ikalawang beses na nilang i-violate ang illegal defense rule. At uh, nice lang natin ipaalala sa mga late tuners natin na uh, nagwagi ang Pepsi or rather ang San Miguel. Dinawin natin, nagwagi ang San Miguel laban sa Pepsi kanina, 95 to 86 ang bilang natin doon. So ang Pepsi, ang record nila ngayon ay 1 out of 1 against 7. Ang kanilang tanging tinalo ay Hinebra San Miguel ng first game nila. So ang Pepsi kanina, may, may chance manalo kami na kinito eh. Totoo. Uh, they just... Uh, Run out of wind towards the end. Yes. In the meantime, the orange juicers have outscored Winebra so far 5 to 2 here in the first two minutes or minute and a half of uh, this third quarter. EJ File on the receiving end. Sumilip sa loob. Kumatsi Gayoso. Hindi matanggap ang bola. Ang shot clock ay bumababa sa Saiz. Harencio. Binigay. Binigay rather. Kaya Pino may foul. Parang kulang yata sa intensity ng Hinebra San Miguel here opening the second half. Could be a case of complacency after opening up uh, a big lead in the first half. Bukha yata ang matamblay ngayon ng uh, hamata ng Hinebra San Miguel. But not after that big three-point shot of Pido Jorencio. Si Pido is playing so relaxed this season. Ano? Kasi si Val David is there at the point. Yes. Then. Alam mo, good point partner. No? Alam mo niya siguro that uh, he is... He is not the first option any longer in offense, and that eases the pressure from his shoulders. As he goes to this second attempt from three-point distance, air ball, however. Two minutes going by. Inside toss, Eric Ray is forced to keep allowed. Palikam bola kay Perfel. Again, they're spreading the floor. I think we're going to They want to give an opportunity for Verhel to operate inside. Eric Eric Salop. Good feed by Verhel Menezes, making the count 51 to 39. Triple team on Noli. A 12 point advantage for us. You know, for San Miguel, now it's a good idea. So, we'll get to Marlo Aquino. Pangan and Bola and Sangamay. The basket to go. Isa pang asinta. Bang! Come Defense of Sank is collapsing inside, allowing Harenjo to take the shot from the outside. Nakatatlo na si Pino, ha? From three point distance. And I'm really boost the confidence of your outside shooters if you know that File and Aquino are down low for the possible oh, offensive result. Yeah. Alvin Tank knocks one in. He has four points. He yeah. also played well against Hinebra the last time up. 20 points. Well, nakita natin kanina, ito si EJ File. Napasahan ng bola. He was in the backwards. Sabi siguro ni File. But ako pinasahan. Nakawala. Oh. Big man blocking another big man. Hindi higante yung salpo, may higante yung <laughs> Two, six, nine players. And Sonny Jaworski. Si Sir Tano. Sa museum. Sa labas. You throw one t-shirt, talaga magkakaroon ng vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> sa labas ba naman kanina, kahaba ng pila. Grabe yung mga pila na ito. Well, tuwing uh, naglalaro ang Hinebra San Miguel dito sa All-Filipino Partners, you can expect a full-packed uh, Coliseum. In fact, uh, balita ko, ang dami ng ticket reservations for Hinebra's next game. That's next Tuesday sa Cuneta, again, San Miguel Beer. Ang aking kaibigan, si Yoli Patista, eh, nakalinya na yata para <laughs> makapanood ng game na yun, Hinebra versus San Miguel. Well, that's happening at uh, the Cuneta. I should my other... Uh home as far as the league is concerned Victoria got a good feed from Vincenzo Vanessa's 
And looks in and starts with a foul. Let's give you the count. He never San Miguel, 55. Sankist, 43. And now that being Oras Maraca de Bayern, 8 minutes and 38 seconds. And Daniel Menezes, so far in the game, has issued five assists. One of the strong, strong suits of his game over the last two years. He's uh, increased as far as the assists are concerned. Samantala, narito si Luxin. Kaantabay sa kanya si Reyes. Libre si Gayoso. Ayaw pumasok. Rebound. Nasa kamay ni Boyd. It's Victoria. Three on three basketball. Victoria, sabi niya, I need help. Pagay kay Daniel Menezes with a 15-second shot clock. Menezes. Locked. Tinawagan ng traveling on JV Gayoso. Watch this again. Ang ganda ng iwas na ni Bergel nun eh. Pero ito, Blanca. Sinampayan. Ito si JV Gayoso was called for the traveling. Gayoso not having a good offensive night, mga kaibigan. He's going 0 out of 5 sa larong ito. Oh, you know, JV Gayoso did everything defensively. Just a great, great shot by Bergel Meneses. 15 points by the aerial voyager. I think JV Gayoso is a strict shooter, meaning to say that if he's hot, he's hot, and if he's not hot, palagay ko sa nagsunod din ang mga mintis niya. And so far in this game, gaya ng binigit natin, 0 out of 5 for Gayoso. Shot clock reduced to 4, looks in. Marlo, no, foul, yes! Pasa foul! Height is might. Yes. And I guess that is the reason why Sonny Jaworski likes to play yung kalawang gigante at the same time. In that particular situation, Marlo Aquino drew the defense towards him. Ito si Bonal Balingit. And when he missed, yun naman sa kabila nakakuha ng bola. And uh, by the time file laid it in, hindi na naka-position sa depensa ito si Bonal Balingit. Who ended up committing his third personal foul now of Pinembra. Alam mo, labanan sa ilalim, parang two against one eh. Oo, oh, actually. Uh -huh. Kanya, palagay ko, kailangan ng tulong ito si Bonal Balingit to fend off the Twin Towers of Pinembra. 12-point lead by the Sonic Jaworski crew. Back away. Now, a question siguro kinito. Itong mayroong kang Twin Towers, will this affect the way teams are made up or the way you choose players in the future in the PBA? Alam mo, depende sa chemistry because uh, alam natin, yung Santo Lucio, meron din, meron din silang Twin Towers. No? Si Julian Pott at saka si Kenny Sestino. Depende rin kung sino magdadala ng bola. Eh. Luxin breaks loose. Ano yung tanke, no ha? <laughs> Parang steamroller na. Ito si Nolly Loxin. 14 points by Nolly Loxin. As we, men yes. As we mentioned, Loxin had 26 points against this very same team when they last met last March 2. Pagka nagiging predictable, predictable na naman yung opensa ng Sankist, they are looking for Verhel Menezes. He's had to get the ball even from way outside. Boy, Boy gets rather trying to make things happen. Tank could have traveled there, but he gets the bucket. Lucky break for Sankis. But that's the mark of a mature team. If you can take advantage of lapses by the opposition. Loxen drawing the double. Time down to 6.17. Arantxa nago operates sa labas. Loxen hinihingi ni Aquino sa low foul si Tank. Yan ay team foul number 5 for Sankis. Tank with his third personal foul. Lalabas si Reyes. Balik si Nelson Asaitono. This is a key substitution. Eric Reyes really wasn't able to show his defensive skills in this game against Nori Loxin. Hamper talaga nung foul. Samantala, long shot. Wolfer gets the back iron. Here comes Boybitz. Corgel Mineses. Toss to Nelson. It was clipped in the air. Apat na si Gayoso. Parayong kupunan, tigit pa, five teams. That's the kind of game that Sankis likes to play. And that is where it is deadliest. Yung kanilang fast break attack, yung transition attack. Kailangan nilang 
Mas marami pang open court opportunities for Nelson Azaitona and Benjamin Menezes. Azaitona, walang problema ang unang free throw. Pasok si Hizon, labas muna si JB Gayoso sa lineup ng uh, Pinabra San Miguel. Ang nalalabing oras, 5 minutes, 59.3 seconds, 60.49 ang ating bilang. Ngayon ang mga classic illustration yun, yung fast break attack ng Sanchez. Nakita natin, yung, yung dumidepensa sa Ginebra San Miguel, si na JB Gayoso, si na Pido Harencio. Naiiwanan kasi sa habulan. Ito si na EJ Fyla at si Marlo Aquino. Which is the reason why Sanchez should continue to set the pace in terms of a fast break game at this stage. Ang nangyari mga kaibigan, double lane violation. Kaya hindi counted yung free throw ni Asaito, no? Magkakaroon mo tayong jump ball sa gitna. Ito, salpo ka na naman ng mga higante. Nasa kamay ng Sankis ng basketball. Nagmamadali si Bergel. Nilambitin. Ayaw pumasok. Nasangkit ni EJ Pahal. Pinabalaba. Ginugulo. <laughs> Ito si Luxin. Charging, barreling through, block. Touches it last, but there's a foul. You know, could be a case of charging on that uh, particular move of uh, Noni Loxin. No, kaya tayo naka-establish ng depensa yung Sanchez and Loxin initiated the move as he came in on that drive. Maswerte ito si Nori Loxin. He's now at the strike. Aiming for two. Shooting off the fourth personal foul. Medyo nagbibiruan si Marlo. At si Bernal, no? Sabi nga, hirap maghanap buhay. Partner, ano ha? I'm sure ganun din po ang inyong pakiramdam kung kayo'y nagkaroon ng mahabang maharap, mahabang araw na puro meeting. At uh, itong basketball ginagamit yung pagkakataon para kayo'y mag-relax. Eh, kami nang bahala ko sa inyo dyan. Panatala, Narito, Asay Tono! Well, definitely, nabibigyan ng pagkakataon ito si Nelson Asay Tono to show what he can do. He's on, dribbles away, did not force the issue. Outside, working the left flank. They go to Pido on the other corner, launches. Not this time around, Asaitono snaring the rebound. Asaitono, ginagala ng konti, bumulusok, running shot. Ayaw! Oops, dalawang Ginebra ang tumapit sa bola. Pasa kay Balingit, iniwasan si Marlo, pasok! This is a big search by Sankis. Yes, they indeed. Have, they have brought the lead down to single digit. From a high of 18 points. Locks in, barreling through. Tried to get it back. Action continues. Three on two. As I turn up, look! Traveling! And that's a big call. Nelson Asaitono wanted to showboat. At nakita natin yun, call for the traveling. Actually, Meryl de Blanca taking one step too many. Nelson Asaitono. EJ File, hook shot. I am Marlo Aquino. Won't go. Offensive foul against Marlo. That's a good call. Widing off. Marlo Aquino using the left arm to wide off the opposition. Ginebra unsuccessful on its last four tries. 427 po ang natitirang oras. Pareho na pong nasa penalty ang ating mga kupunan. Baldavid niya pala, bumalik sa ating ballgame. Pinalitan si Pilong Harensyo. Barcael pinasa kay Boybits. What an angle to work with. Si Boybits, ha? Five of his nine points dito sa third. Ginugulo ni Boybits ito si Baldavid. I think he's using psych tactics on Baldavid. David just got burned when he bubbled on Gerhard Manessas at si Boybits ito yung naman ang tumanak. Lead down to seven. And here comes Sanchez. Nelson, he needs the ball. Libre si Vergel. But he didn't pick it up to Vergel. Isolation. Open court opportunity for Vergel. Nice turnaround move. Wala. Just didn't go in. In the hands of David. Hello. Oh. But it was body blocking more than anything else. 
The Ginebra faithful trying to egg on their team, which has missed on its last four tries. Carlo Aquino still scoreless. Vito Pusa uh, third period. Aquino had under, actually he had one point at attack. One point here in the third period. Total of nine points for Marlo Aquino. Ten points for the Rebra High Rise. This Vergel lobbing it inside, taking it away oh, what by Baldavid. A, what a steal from mid-air. Two-handed catch by Baldavid. What a play. Over to Gison in traffic. No. On fighting. Napapapadyak yung mga audience. Oh. Audit natin mga kaibigan. Pati silya natin gumagawa. Ang taas na ng intensity level kasi nilaro na ito. And Vergel finishes out. It's a big basket. Both teams. Tama ka rin, ha? In season with his first foul. Well, sir, coach, you know, relax niya ata interior defense ng uh, Pinedo San Miguel. Medyo yata napagod na yung, yung dalawang malaki nila. Of course, EJ File is now sitting on the bench. But very clearly, Sanchez is now attacking the inside. Nabitawan na recover. Looks in. Nelson, on yes. Nan, Juan, on. Nasa kamay ni Kison. Inebras bringing back to life here. Kison wants a three. Yes. Kison was practicing that shot to the guy. Pinito, son. And it's no wonder why they're cheering. That's right, and take a look at the three-point shooting stats. Five out of nine for Inebra. And Sankis wala pa pong naipapasok from three-point distance. But the point there in that particular stat, that was a basket that came after a long drive spell by Kinebra. But they are on a tear again. Look, save! Just missed! Tries to regain it. Gets it back! What wow. hustle in the part of Noli locks in. What hustle! Oh, well, the person again who made that play possible was Paul David. Stole that ball right out of the dribble of Rick Rick Marata. Alam mong nagawa ng tatlong wins ng Hilebra sa Miguel also partner. Nabigyan ng confidence yung mga bagong player. Yung mga rookie. Totoo yan. Now they know how to play. This Hinebra team now knows how to play with each other. May iba natalo sila sunod-sunod tatlo. Okay, people said, ah, oh, you never saw off again to a bad start. Then suddenly they win three straight. And they start learning how to play with each other as we take a look at uh, Boybich Victoria and Derek Kumara. Well said, in any field of athletic competition, important yung mental attitude, yung mental toughness. And palagay ko, after uh, losing so many times to Hinebra San Miguel, suffered from, uh, siguro, mental fatigue or uh, a defeatist attitude. Pero nung nakita nila na Nananalo na sila, and they can win here in the All-Filipino Conference. As you said, the conference level has really gone up. There is a call by referee uh, Dabberi. Uh, a foul on Hong, his second personal foul. Second personal for Wilmer Hong. Here's the second, uh, the second look, rather. So Nelson Asaitono. Siglang yan, bumulusa ka naman ang Ginebra. Back to 13 ang laman. Pero ito si Nelson Azaitona, as you can see, very, very clearly. No? This is a rejuvenated the ball. Ibang klase ni lalaro ngayon ni Nelson Azaitona. And uh, what's also very clear is that Coach Derek Kumarin is opening up the court for Azaitona to maneuver like he's making one-on-one moves. Yes. Oh, 
there are players like Nelson Masai Tono. They really cannot adjust sometimes uh, when they do them set patterns. They need to use an open court. They don't have any other skills. They can even manage to lock in. He is playing with a passion, with fire. I'm feeling in Oli Loxin, he can take on his entire Sunkis team by himself. Alam mo tayo, marami na rin nakita ang laro sa ating karir, sa mga akin ito, kahit sa boxing. Makita mo talaga sa atleta, sa look, ano? Ang gusto talaga eh. Ibang klase yung fighting spirit. Ayun nga sinasabi natin, mental toughness. Ito si Oli Loxin. Actually, ever since he broke into this league, he already had uh, shown signs of, uh, of fiery, fieriness now on the court. Tough pass by Val David. Near completion and a foul in the backcourt. Foul by Hong, and since both teams are in penalty, we shall take a walk to the other side. Some minuto, 38 seconds, and uh, remaining time happened. By the way, don't forget that right after our coverage of the games, it's going to be rated E. And that's uh, all about the secret lives of the supermodels. VTV, that's uh, going to happen when we complete our coverage of this. We have our this encounter. Lola shooting from the strike by Zaldere Lugu. More pressure by Sankis defense in the back row. We have it with Maldavid and Bola. Balik to Rison. There's to Marlo Aquino. Marlo trying to back up against Saudi. Saudi trying to jab the ball away. Marlo goes through. Alam mo kung sino ang delighted yung sa bench ng Inebra, si Philip Cesar. Oo. Parang feeling niya. Yan ang sinasabi ko sa'yo. Talaga ito, tinirukan niyo niya niya. Philip Cesar, of course, Philip, in his heyday, had a lot of brilliant inside moves. One of the best local stuff in this as well. In this country. Gavel. Double team. Bonnell using muscle. Yes! Bonnell, Bonnell. As we wind down to the last 40 seconds, in Everest, lead is 11. Bob David. Right to use some clock. Si Marata, naka-antabay sa kanya. Nakawala si David. Goodbye! And no help defense that time. Nakawala si Bob David. Kay Rick Marata. No help defense on Sankey's part. No team defense. To be so young and have the legs of tomorrow. Yes. So well said. Kala mo ba sa frame ni Valdovid, hindi lulusog eh, no? Hindi siya atake. Ang bilis ang bata eh. He uses quickness to offset his handicapping height. Gusto ko yung change ng game ni Valdovid. Nung una, kinakansawa ko pa. Para hindi kaya ata tumitingin sa shot clock ko minsan eh. Kasi kuminsan naabutan siya na di-dribble pa eh. Also, solution niya, bibilis ako na lang. But well, I think all it took was uh, Coach Robert Jaworski to show confidence in this uh, play. Jory Concepcion, incidentally, congratulations for being named one of uh, the outstanding young men of the Philippines this year. Okay, okay, yeah. yes. Along with uh, also our good friend Malu Mangahas, who is the editor of the Manila Times. Okay. Eight seconds remaining. Well, David, now looking at the clock. Let's it fly. Yes! Then you see that in Athens and maturity. Here's that layup earlier. For a young man, a rookie, showing tremendous poise here with hardly any time left, and now no time left. Three point basket to end the quarter. Interaction. He's on. Balingit. Okay. 
we've said so much about what he never has done well. He's been three terms. Kini ka ano bang kailangan gawin ng Santos para ma-turn around dito? As if they were showing signs of it in the third quarter. Palagay ko, number one, uh, try to control the boards now. It looks like Coach Derek Romero has that in mind. He's got two big men playing underneath. Yan si Zaldirin Lubit at saka si Bonel Balingit. Not to mention si Nelson and Saitono. So, very concerned. I'm sure ito si Coach uh, Derek Romero ng rebounding uh, control of his game. Tapos siguro yung speeding up the pace, kailangan din ang Sakis to make sure that the pace is sped up. One way to do that, of course, is to force turnovers in the back. Yun, nakakuha ng turnover. Ito si uh, Boyd Vince Victoria. May pace ngayon ang Sakis. Back-to-back hits. Exactly lahat ng sinabi mo nangyari sa mga eksena ito. Babasa 11 ang abante ng Hinebra San Miguel. We take a look at the backward score in the awesome edge of Hinebra San Miguel. That's right, 37 and 11. And another turnover. Ito, Hinebra San Miguel now lapsing into errors. Rejection. Now, Nicholas Nadu Sabin, Kinito, no lead lives long in the PBA as we take a look at the production lines. And take a look at the performance of Sankis in the first and second periods. Held down to just 16 points apiece. Oh, what a pass. Unselfish play. That has been the hallmark of uh, the style of Ineba San Miguel Dito sa all Filipino conference. Yung kanilang unselfishness. Don't you just love it when you have somebody 6'9"? <laughs> Double team make si Nelson as I go, no? Yes. Foul on Wilmer Hong. His fifth person on the first team foul for the Nevis movement ni Milo Aquino, ha? Huh? On the run. Taking off. Ito na. Bal David with another steal. Hindi lang umakit yung tira niya. Nagpadali ito si Bal David. Of angle, of, of balance din siya. Well, there were also two Sankis uh, defenders oh, oh, oh. who came straight down. And uh, maganda rin yung precision defense of Sankis. Yes! Yon ang kailangan! Yes! That's the first three-point basket of Sankis in this game. Yun ang sinasabi natin kanina, palagay ko, kailangan ng konting outside shooting itong Sankis. Yes, which has not really happened in this uh, encounter. Samantala, David, nagkakanap ng mapupuntahan. Ang tira niya ay pumasok. David, si Reese secures it. Marlo in a rush. Ang tulis na tira ni Marlo. Oh, oh, oh. Pasok na pasok. Swak na swak. Well, currently by Ginebra as we hit the nine-minute mark. And now, we we'll have to consider pagod na rin itong unit na ito for Ginebra. Huh? Alam ba, I was just about to raise that point because it was si Boyd Victoria is beginning to attack the defense of Paul David. Probably realizing that Medro pagod na ito si Bal David. Robert Jaworski must know when and how to face his players. Pero naman Sankis, I'm sure, will take advantage. In season, restoring a 12-point lead for Sonic Jaworski's brigade. Boybitz getting away with murder here. It's Victoria! Yan ang sinasabi natin. Victoria is now challenging the defense of uh, David. Seven straight points because kaya naman yung disparity sa backwards going, napakalaki, no? So they have to make up for that, especially here on the fourth. Wow, away from the basketball. Jaworski is talking to Val David right now. And I'm sure yung... Uh, Years of wisdom with Sonny Jaworski, eh, pinapasa niya talaga kay Bala, no? Luxin! Congested area. And a foul on Hizon. This foul foul on Vince Hizon. His second personal, second team foul for Hinebra San Miguel. Second team foul of Hinebra, and the lead has been reduced to 10. Boybitz scoring a quick seven points here. Verhel with a wiggle. Verhel Again, a perfect play by Sankis. They're opening up the floor now for Verhel Menezes to go one on one. They're isolating him. And they're giving him the opportunities by having their big man play outside. It is reduced to eight. 
Pedra down to eight seconds. Aquino batted from behind and a foul. Big break for the gym. Uh, exactly, right? second team foul for By the way, come Sunday, March 24, we'll be at the Kineta Astrodome as Pepsi Mega will meet Alaska Milk in our opener. And Sunkist Orange will be playing Formula Shell. He's on the ball. Sinas of Salob. Aquino missing, but there is a foul. Tutu is in no part there. And damning offensive weapons on Ginebra San Miguel on the floor. They can go to Aquino with a nice uh, quick move towards the basket. Yung anyan drop step is very deadly. Nanjan si David, who is a penetrator. Nanjan si Vince Hizon, who is an outside bomber. And of course, you have Mori Loxin, who is a power forward who can score. Inside now uh, on the Sankey's part, and Jesse Garhel Menezes and Asaitono, potent one two punch playing at the same time. And of course, Boy is Victoria, who appears to want to make a or prove a point. He does a fourth period, he does not want to be embarrassed by Paldavid. Looks in, won't work. And Everest hoping for a three point play in reverse there. Marito si Asaitono, Huminto firing, yes! And the lead down to seven once more as we're inside seven minutes. Luxin slowing it down. Having a wag, 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 wag. Oh, he got nothing to let. Yes! Out of it. Trying to keep in step with Victoria. Steal by Heeson. Here comes Baldavid. Three on two basketball. Baldavid is pass deflected. Heeson recovers. What hustle by Vince Heeson. Heeson with a reverse. <laughs> Just when you thought that Ginebra was going to crack under the pressure of the comeback of Santis. They find a way to score a basket. We have a 20 second timeout for the OJs. Look at this. Head and shoulder break, nakawala. Behind the back dribble. Pass to Sakis defenders on the reverse. <laughs> okay, our ball game reads 90 to 79. Again, we'd like to say a pleasant good evening to our viewers in uh, Virat Catanduanes who are watching uh, through our uh, sister station, uh, SBC Channel 9, affiliated, of course, with our uh, IBC network. Pleasant evening sa inyong lahat ho dyan at yung iba pa natin mga masugid na tagasubaybay ng PBA Games. Dahil ng Cagayan de Oro, may laro ho tayo dyan, Pure Food Santa Lucia, 5.30 in the afternoon, dyan sa Mindanao Polytechnic State College. Back to this one. Victoria. And Helminas is drawing a double coverage. Balikan bola kay Victoria. Nine on the shot clock. Victoria. Hindi makawala kay David. Pumasok. Ayaw. Marlo Aquino snares it. He's on his by his lonesome. Breakdown in defense here by Sankis. Hindi nila nakita ito si Vince Heeson already up court. Wide open for the easy layup. Manessas probes inside. 12 on the shot clock. 13 point lead. Mukhang ito si Vince Heeson and medyo pagod na. Oh. So you get to wonder whether he never San Miguel can sustain the space. Yes! Aliyuk. Nice pass, Vince Heeson. Again, unselfish play. Sankis needing a timeout. Oh, hide the moon. Ito. When you have got a high rise, the moon somehow becomes a little closer. Sanchez, dry spell. Victoria keeping Sanchez's hopes alive. He's on. David. High rise. Won't work. Carhel Menezes, last shot. You know, there's time here for Sankis to make the run. More than enough time. The lead has been shot down to 11 back-to-back -back baskets. 
Eason webs it over to Luxin. Dahan-dahan, naghahanap si Luxin ang nabibigyan ng bola. Narito si David. Mas aggressive ng depensa ng Sankis. Shot clock bumababa sa 5. Inside pass, anticipated. David can't get it back. Here comes Victoria. Victoria has played a superb fourth quarter. Difficult shot, just won't work. Nasa kamay ni Zeng. Malakas! Luxin burning rubber over to Marlowe! Again. Chalk up another assist for Reynaldo San Miguel. Again, another unselfish play on the team. Always looking for the high percentage shot. And when you go to Marlo Aquino, you know that's the highest percentage shot possible. Alam mo, mga high-rise ngayon, nung nga nagbebenta, syempre, kailangan may amenities. Ito si Aquino, maraming amenities. <laughs> Skyscraper, eh. Oo. Oh, oh. Black from the inside. Again, the intimidation factor. Twin Towers of Inerbo San Miguel in the game. And Marlo Aquino tells Baldabi, sandali, pahinga muna tayo po, pagod na ako. <laughs> And we can use some clock here. Well, I'm really glad I was in my lorry. No, 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 Protecting this lead. And you can expect Sankis now to play even more aggressive defense to try to force turnovers. But there's no pressure. Because it's big in the lobe. You can only apply good backward pressure if you've got speedy small men. He just joined us. Remember with a big, big explosion in the second quarter. Outscoring the Orange Juicers 30 to 16 in that quarter. Partner, very obvious. Huh? And Laruna Hinebes and Miguel really looking for the high percentage shot. Yes. And they're giving up the ball. Parang last option na talaga yung long shot. Eh. Yes. Diba, no? Yung kanilang shot selection. Yan, pinag-usapan natin kanina yes. sa pre-game. Yes, yes. Very, very good shot selection. At hinahanap nila talaga yung pinakalibre sa mga kasama nila. Aldabid, Kyle, Marlo, it crawls in. Again, very patient in the half-court offense to Hinebra San Miguel. And the Orange Juicers will utilize a timeout. And Sankis using the last timeout. And Victoria... Watches the play. Victoria harassed here to no end by Pal David. On last two minutes, I have to say, no, Nantanguay, the number one round. We know what's in my little train. What a game he has played. Well, he certainly hasn't given up. This entire Sankis team hasn't given up. Kyle now double team. May nakawala na naman. Vince Hizos. Laging ganun, ano? Laging ganun ang nangyayari sa Sankis. Hindi na nag-collapse yung, ano, ha? Yung defense sa kanya. As I told him, he's going to burn the hoops. But it's just a one-man show at this stage. Yes, indeed. 104-91. 13-point lead by the Jins. He's on, nearly losing control. What hassle, huh? No team is close to the penalty, by the way. We never with only two team fouls. Sankis with three. Mal David! Tuwanto si Sani Chawanski, oh! Alam mo, kanina sinabi natin that with the way Mal David is playing, hindi na tuloy makakapasok si Robert Chawanski. He has played in every game dito sa All Filipino Conference, except this one. Seeing his team play so well must be just as delightful for the big Jen. He probably feels that uh, pag pa niya papalitan ang kanyang kombinasyon, he's putting in uh, more players inside, but uh, it looks like uh, Robert Jaworski feels that he's got his game all wrapped up. Alam mo, there's still more than one minute to go. 
Anything can happen. Well, he's stalling for time. They're milking the clock. He's on. Launches a triple. At the massive pass. Rio, wala na. Ayala, sinasabi natin, nail on the coffin. Mas wala na talaga. Pag ikaw nagsasabi sa programa natin ng boxing, tapos na ang boxing, oh. naniniwala ako sa'yo. Hindi, partner, at saka yung that last play, walang aggressiveness yung defense na Sankis. Mukhang... There you go. Talk about aggressiveness. Yeah. Because the season has really burned rubber dito sa second half. It's like a big game for Hison to after several big misses in the past few games of Rinebra. As I thought, launches a triple. Circles out. Ria Lubit knocks it in. 24 seconds left. And Rinebra will now move to a 5-4 and four card, Kinito. Yes, and this is the fourth straight victory of Hinebra San Miguel. The last time Hinebra won four straight was back in the first conference, 1993. Alikotai for the final 12 seconds. Hinebra hoping to utilize the last play. Ong fires. De Hoya. Yes. De Hoya. Ne mga ganon na, no, ha? And Hinebra. fell into place, yes. With its fourth straight victory, Kinito. And certainly a serious title contender. Makin business ng Ginebra, no? By the team standings, Alaska 5-3, Shell 5-3, San Miguel 5-3 because of their win against Pepsi, Pure Foods 5-4. Ginebra now at 5-4, mga kaibigan. What a big win for Ginebra San Miguel. It's all started with a tear in the second quarter, Kinito. Outscoring the OJs. 32 to 16 in that second quarter tear. Well, revenge factor dito. Alam natin in the first round of the eliminations, tinalo ng Sankis ang Hinebra San Miguel 98 to 90. Ngayon naman po, eh, nakabalik na ang Hinebra San Miguel exacting sweet revenge. Okay, we shall pause for a few messages and present our Gilby's Choice player thereafter. 113 to 98. Hinebra with its fourth straight victory earlier tonight. San Miguel won against Pepsi 95-86. Let's have a lot of super performances from several Hinebra San Miguel beer players. Uh, San Miguel Ang gulo mo. Ang gulo ng dalawa, pinagsama. Si Milo Aquino with 25 points, mga kaibigan. Vin Season, 24 points. Another player scored 24 points, but we chose him to be our choice player of the yes. game. Yung po si Noli Loxin because he scored 10 points in the third period. That was when the lead of Hinebra was brought down to just 6 points. Locks in finishing with 24 points. At saka siguro sa interview na ito, nakakiti na siya. Kasi nung umpisa pa lang ng game, ganun na si Noli Locks in all throughout the game. Tingnan natin si Anthony Suntay. Okay, thanks a lot, Sev. Noli, ngayon, pag nakita na naman tayo, hindi mo na masasabi sa akin na kinakabahan ka pa rin. Hindi, um, una-una sa lahat, Anthony, magpapasalamat mo na kay Lord. No? At saka sa mga fans na sumusuporta sa amin at sa kay Coach, um, um, siguro yung panalo na to, talagang determinado kami lahat eh. Gusto namin manalo at sayang naman yung tatlong panalo namin na sunod-sunod na bibitawan pa namin to. So siguro yun na yung isa pa nagtulak sa amin. Alam mo nung humabol yung Sunkist, ang daming kinakabahan na, no? Kayo ba eh, nawalan ba kayo ng kumpiyansa o mukhang talagang determinado kayo, no? Um, medyo, siyempre, nandun talaga yung nervyos, di ba, pag humahabol. Pero kumpiyansa kami lahat eh. At Yun naman, awa ng Diyos, pumapasok lahat na shoot namin. Okay, congratulations, Noli. Batiin mo na lahat ng mga fans. Binati mo na yung mga fans na nandito, yung mga nasa bahay naman. Um, yung mga nanonood at sumusuporta sa amin, salamat sa inyo lahat. At sana tuloy pa.